Good morning, guys. Welcome to another video. Uh, this one is my morning routine. I want to cater it more towards spending time with Jesus. So that's kind of what the title's about. But obviously, there's steps to get there. So uh, when I first wake up, I try my best to make my bed or our bed, I should say. Um, it's just a habit I try to make, but I'm not perfect at it. So and I don't even make it the best. As you can see, it just looked like I just threw it together, which is basically what happened. But it still feels nice coming into that rather than a messy bed later that night. So next up is uh, the bathroom where we get ready. I don't really have a crazy, you know, get ready morning bathroom routine or anything like that. Like I barely even use moisturizer my wife says that i need to use it more uh, but for the sake of youtube obviously i put some moisturizer on and i'll do that probably once or twice a month honestly just depending on how dry my skin feels so um you'll see that here shortly but gotta put in the uh the nasal sprays because allergy season is kicking hard here in the midwest so that's what you see me doing there and next is my contacts so gotta put those in and as you can see here i'm moisturizing my face uh, for the sake of the video now during this whole routine you might be wondering like where's my wife and son in this picture well, me and my wife have this uh, routine where every other week um, the other person will watch or get up with our son so the other one can rest. So this week my wife got up with my son and I was able to sleep in a little longer. But I, I, I try to wake up at 8 o'clock every day so uh, just so I can do this routine and spend time with the Lord. So that's where I enter here with my wife and my son eating breakfast. And this is where I take my supplements, and I'll show you here in a second um, the supplements I, I take. But got to start the coffee because that is important on this routine is coffee. So I uh, take some cod liver oil uh, first thing in the morning with some Catalan that my chiropractor suggests to take every day. And like I said, it's allergy season, so I have to have some Zyrtec in the mix. So we're going to chug that down. And that's the other thing in the morning I try to do before coffee is with taking my supplements is just to chug a whole bunch of water uh, just to, you know, get that hydration back in there after sleeping for so long without water. So it makes me feel better being able to go to my cup of coffee knowing that I had um, a lot of water to begin with and my chiropractor tells me to do it. So that's what I do. Next is coffee. Now, I'm not going to talk much during this little session because I'm the type that loves to see coffee being made. So I'll just leave it as its own. But I will say, um, well, uh, after I show off my my handsome son and my two dogs who always beg for food. So this is what it looks like when Louis has to eat. And this is some uh, milk that we transitioned him over to. Some rippled milk. So it's like some pre, some pea milk rather than the regular milk. From so enjoy this coffee. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. So after the coffee is made, which is my wife or I make it depending on the day. I head to the office and this is where I spend time with the Lord. I like to get away from the distractions and try to intentionally you know, be present and mindful of the study that I'm having. So I clear off the space, make sure there's no distractions. Sometimes I'll have worship music playing. Sometimes I won't depending on the day. And today I didn't have any worship music. So I start off my time with the Lord in some prayer. Uh, just to kind of get every like what I wake up with, any anxiousness, any thoughts, um, just kind of like get my mind right and just like thank him for, you know, what he's blessed us with, kind of present him with any cares or anxieties I might have and just get my mind right and focused on him. And then 
I'll head over to journaling or the Bible. It depends, and it really just depends like what's going on in my mind. And so today, I wanted to start with journaling. And when I journal, this is just also like a way for me to get my mind on the Lord and just like express my thoughts and prayers towards Him. And so today, I'm writing about just like, you know, asking Him for help in regards of the next move in life you know i don't want to make any business decisions any investing decisions anything without his help and i want to learn to come to him and hear from him before making those next moves and that's what i really want to learn this year is how to really you know be disciplined and discerning to his voice and so that's kind of what i was journaling about and once i finish uh journaling then i'll go ahead and get in the word and I have two Bibles here. I usually don't have two Bibles, but they are both sitting on my desk. So for the past couple of days, I've kind of just been using both. One is the NIV and the one I'm highlighting is the NLT. And I've really been liking the NLT. I've grown up with NIV. So going back and forth, I've really enjoyed it. The uh, chapter and verses that I was reading today was 1 John 4. And the verse that stuck out to me was verse 4 which says, uh, you dear children are from God and I've overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Stating that the spirit that God gave us and who lives in us is greater than that spirit, the devil, the demons, the evil in this world. The spirit of God in us is greater than the spirit that is in this world. So we can have confidence knowing that we can overcome and deal with everything that comes our way because we have the greater one in us. So after that study, I'll end in prayer, shut everything off, and then I will join my family once again. And today um, for breakfast, I have overnight oats. And I've started to switch over to doing this because... There's just not enough time in the day to worry about what to eat. So I'm trying to be better at meal prepping and a breakfast for me that works well is overnight oats. So I have some oats, some almond milk, protein powder, and blueberries. And it's just so much better than having to cook something every day. And I'm trying to be better at meal prepping because me and my wife, we're already busy as is. And there's so much more that we are trying to do and want to do. And so meals just get in the way too much. So I'm really trying to use this year to be better at meal prepping to give us more time in the day. So next is obviously feeding the dogs. And then um, I'll join my wife and my son at whatever they're doing in this moment of the day. So that happens to be playing outside. So in this portion of the day, um, I finished my time with the Lord, kind of my own time. Um, And then we just play with our son until our nanny gets here, which is at 10 o'clock every day from Monday through Wednesday, which gives us time to work and uh, get our you know things done that we need to do to hopefully prepare us for the rest of the week for Thursday and Friday so we can just hang out with our son. Um, so here we just do whatever we want, whatever we can until our nanny gets here, which is really, I mean, I really don't do this backstretch much, but it was there, so I did it. And then I'll check my phone, look at emails, text messages for the day, uh, if there's anything I need to get to until the nanny gets here. And our son is watching our show. We'll put on our show every once in a while. And that is um, a show that me and my wife decided to make on YouTube because after having our son, we realized there wasn't a lot of Christian shows for kids, especially on YouTube. So we decided to make our own. So we started a channel called Chosen Kids, and that's where we just do Christian content for babies, toddlers, kids whatever age group if they're entertained they can watch it so yeah if you guys want to uh watch that go check it out and this is us setting up for another episode so that's what we're doing here all right guys well that's it for today's video um after we recorded some of that footage for chosen kids um the morning was basically over i got changed once again and then we headed out did some of our errands that we had to do my wife recorded some social media content that she needed um, and then we got lunch came back and now it's time to edit get some work done so right now it's like four o'clock but that's it for the morning routine if you guys like these types of videos please let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of like this lifestyle vlog on top of the other like podcasts and stuff that i've been doing so i would love to make more of this type of videos if you guys um, like this so just let me know down below um this is your first time, hit that subscribe button, it would mean a lot. Make sure to like this video if you did like it. Um, and other than that, you can follow my social medias, whatever you guys wanna do, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.